Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we're looking at the six gadgets every golfer needs. Now Kit, a gadget is a mechanical or electronic device or tool. So what sorts of things are we going to be talking about in this video? First of all, well done for doing your homework, Thank Joel. You. Second of all, that definition is going to be stretched just a tiny bit for this. But what we're looking for essentially is something other than your run-of-the-mill clubs, balls, gloves, clothing that's going to really enhance your experience of the game and help you get better. And I think we found six really good ones. Well, we I agree. Agree. So without so further ado, let's get started. Six gadgets every golfer needs. My number one favorite golfing gadget is a distance measuring device or a DMD if you do see it written down. Now, I personally really like to use a rangefinder. It's simple, it's easy. You pick it up, bang, you've got a yardage. Not only can you get the pin, but also hazards, trees at the back of the green, dog legs as well if there's something sticking up. So it's really useful. It genuinely saves me four or five shots around. If you're looking for something a little bit more advanced though, there are GPSs on the market as well. Joel, you've tested all of them. What are the pros and cons of a rangefinder versus a GPS? Yeah, so GPS I feel like gives you a bit more information kit. So one like this Sky Caddy uh, SX400, will provide you with uh, color hole maps of what lies ahead. So you've got a greater idea about where you want to be hitting your shots to. You can, it's got a movable pointer, so you can touch points of interest. It'll come up with hazard list view, so you can see how far it is to reach and carry hazards. You've got layout parks, so it just gives you a bit more information. It's great if you play a uh, lot of, sort of new courses that you're unfamiliar with. Um, really gives you a good idea about what lies ahead and also gives you more information on blind shots where lasers fall down. So a um, really, really useful bit of kit. Um, they do come in different forms as well. So you've got GPS watches, which are becoming increasingly popular. They come with a lot of features. Uh, they double as fitness watches and they can also do shot tracking, which we'll come on to a bit later in this video. Um, but yeah, you've got a lot of options in the DMD market, but GPS is definitely really useful if you're playing lots of new courses. Absolutely, Joel. The DMD market's so vibrant at the moment. There's so much out there. Whatever price point you're looking at, Whatever of those features you need, whether you prefer a rangefinder, the detail of a GPS, there will be something that suits you perfectly and it will help save you shots. I urge you, get yourself a DMD. Now for something a little bit humbler. Yeah, it's the little pitch mark repairer. It's simple, but it's vital. We all want to play great condition courses. We all get annoyed when we see depressions and dimples and pitch marks and we've got a putt for birdie and it's in our way. So we should all be carrying one of these and repairing our pitch marks as we go. It's easier than a tee. And I got this one from Carnoustie. So they're great as a bit of memorabilia as well. Joel, I know you've got a special one to you there also. <laughs> yeah, Le Golf National, my one's from. So it's a constant reminder of playing very badly on a very difficult golf course. But yeah, no, I think it is a crucial bit of kit. And you know, while you can make sacrifices and try and use tees to repair your pitch mark, it doesn't do as good a job as a pitch mark repairer. And they do come in different designs and forms. So you can get ones that are magnetic and you can put a ball marker on them. So you kind of got both of those two items in one place. So yeah, you know, while it might be one of those things that you overlook, a pitch mark repairer is a really important gadget to have. 100%. So every time you go to a nice new golf course, buy a memorabilia pitch mark repairer, stick it in your bag, and then you've always got them there ready to go and keep the course pristine. Right, so the next gadget on our list is a golf trolley. Now, whether that be a push trolley or an electric trolley, which is the one I would always prefer, um, I won't really step onto the golf course without my electric trolley, to be honest. I don't know if it's because I'm lazy kit, but for me, absolutely crucial bit of kit. And they do come in many different forms with different levels of features as well. I like an electric trolley because I just like the fact that it takes the strain away from my body. If you've got a lot of uh, shoulder or back problems, you know, carrying a golf bag can really weigh you down and cause a lot of health issues. So I think a trolley, you know, if you, if you haven't used a trolley, I think once you do, you will be absolutely 100% converted. So you know, for me, I prefer an electric trolley kit. You prefer a push trolley. Why would you prefer that? Yeah, I'm not quite as flash as you, Joel. So I'm happy to just have something simple, but I can stick in the boot of the car, whack it out when I need it. It's lightweight. It was a bit cheaper to buy in the first place. And you still get those health benefits that you mentioned there. 
it doesn't take a lot of effort to push really, especially if you're on a relatively flat golf course and you still take the strain away from your body. And I really notice at the end of 18 holes, the difference between carrying and pushing. When I've got my trolley, even a push one, I'm so much fresher at the end of the round. Definitely, and trolleys these days fold down an awful lot more compactly than they did in years gone by. So you're gonna be saving a lot of space in your boot for all your other bits and bobs. And then the features, as we've touched on there, really are a cutting edge these days. The trolley I use has a GPS technology built into the handle. So uh, if you're looking for a gadget that's really gonna change your game, a golf trolley is definitely gonna do that. Right, so the next gadget on our list uh, revolves around shot tracking. So any kind of technology that will give you insights into how your clubs are performing, how far they're going and where your strengths and weaknesses lie. Now, we've got a couple of different options here on the market. Uh, you've got the ShotScope V3 kit. I've got the Arcos Caddy. So these are basically sensors. If I can open up and show you here. So the sensors that screw into the tops of your grips. And they're basically little mini GPS locators, so they'll automatically detect your shots for you. And then after you know, they pair with a smartphone app, you, you can get to the clubhouse after your round and have a look at how far you hit your clubs, you know, all sorts of insights into where you're losing shots around the course. And um, it's really helpful in terms of understanding your strengths and weaknesses and, and knowing where you can save shots. So Kit, you know, what are the benefits of, of the one that you've got here? Well, the, the technology is absolutely incredible on these, and we're seeing it get better and better every year, not only in terms of how it's built into your clubs or how you can wear it yourself. This is just a lovely little watch that doesn't get in the way at all, the shot scope. But the level and accuracy of the data that you're getting, you want to know the average distance you've hit a seven iron in your last 20 rounds, it's there. You want to know what your green and regulation are, it's there. Are you missing the fairways right or left? It's all there. There's now no excuse not to have the same level of understanding and analysis of your game that your favourite Tour Pro has. And once you've got that at your disposable, you and your coach can use it to improve. You can use it to buy better clubs that will suit you better, to improve your technique and understand where you're dropping shots and where you're picking them up. It's an incredible bit of kit and I'm so happy that we as amateur golfers are now able to get stuck into the stats like the pros do. Definitely, and, and they're very passive these days as well. You know, before they're a bit clunky and, and a bit more inconvenient, but now you, you don't really notice them, the fact that they're there. You're just coming after you around and all that information is there on your phone, at your fingertips, and it's incredibly useful. So if you haven't uh, benefited from shot tracking systems before, give them a try. We, I think you'll be really blown away by the data, especially if you're into your stats. Next up, we have got putting mats. Absolutely great bits of kit. You can fold them away when you're not using them and get them out when you are. And I've got to say, my putting mat at home has been out over the course of 2020, far more than ever. We've been stuck at home and what better thing to do than to practice and improve your golf. And it's one thing that you can properly replicate. I always find hitting golf shots into a net, trying to do your full game's a bit different, doesn't feel right, but the putting, it's absolutely spot on. I'm so confident over six footers now that I would take you on for money any day, Joel, even though I know you've got a couple at home. How much has it helped you improve, Joel? Yeah, I'd say it's definitely helped me improve from short range. You know, obviously it gives you an opportunity to practice uh, from the comfort of your own home when it's cold outside or if it's night time. So you've got, you know, extra time you can put into your game and that should translate into results out on the course. They come in all different kind of versions and sizes. You can get ones with little slope ramps that replicate breaking putts. I've got the putt out home putting studio kit, which is fantastic because it comes with that really frustrating little trainer where you have to get the ball into the hole. Also comes with a mirror and some gates so you can look on your strike as well as your posture, your eye position. So it's reinforcing those fundamentals. And most importantly, they come with kind of alignment lines. So you can really get your alignment uh, correct and grooved every time. And that's really important in terms of holding putts, especially from short range. So while we're pushing the definition of gadgets, with a home putting mat, it's definitely a crucial bit of kit that every golfer needs. Yeah, well worth pushing the definition for a putting mat. It will really help you get one in the living room, do your practice while you're watching the golf on TV or it's raining outside, and you'll never miss a six footer again, probably. Right, so the next gadget on our list is a launch monitor. And not just specifically a launch monitor, but any gadget or tool that will provide you with feedback on your play. So that can be really important in terms of understanding your tendencies, your strengths and weaknesses, what they are, 
but also having fun kit. You've spent a lot of time on a launch monitor recently. It's not just about you know, hitting endless shots and working on your yardages. You can have a lot of fun with launch monitors as well, can't you? You really can. You can download courses and go and play them if the weather isn't great outside or you've just got half an hour to rattle around a quick nine holes. There's loads of games on them as well. So we've been doing little challenges with the short game and you're not thinking about the technique. You're just trying to hit a target or get a higher score, beat your mate. But then the next time you get out on the course, you go, oh, I've been hitting these shots for fun. I know this, I know how this will work. So I think as a, a game enjoyment tool, especially through the winter when it's not so nice out on the course or courses are even closed, as well as just to have a bit of fun, I think it's a brilliant tool. And even if you can't buy one yourself, because they are expensive, even the cheaper ones, mm. you can go and rent a studio, your local pro might have one, it's well worth getting an hour or two in there and seeing what you can do. Yeah, and a lot of expenses come in at different price points, you know, from kind of 250 pounds all the way up to the tens of thousands of pounds. It's up to you, obviously, whatever suits your budget. But there's a few that have really impressed me. Uh, recently, the Garmin G80 is actually a GPS device, but it doubles as a launch one. And that's given some really useful numbers. Yeah, working your way up onto the Rapsodo mobile launch monitor pairs with your mobile phone, that's around £550. And that's a really good option as well. Obviously, you've got your Skytrack launch monitor, which comes into around about that £2,000 mark. And then you're moving into the Foresight GC2 and Foresight GC Quad, which are an awful lot more money, but they do give you a lot more information. So, yeah, lots of different options out there in the launch monitor world, but any kind of tool that will give you feedback on your swing, maybe even the ZEP swing analyzer that, that attaches to the back of your glove, that's a really good option as well. But anything that can give you feedback on your game, it's really going to help your golf. So there we have our six favorite types of golf gadget. Definitely something in there to enhance your enjoyment of the game and help you play a bit better if you use them right as well. I hope that's given you some real inspiration. We'll put some links in the description below if you're interested in buying any of the gadgets that we've talked about. And obviously if you do like the video, do click the like button and comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on which the gadget that appeals to you the most and Kit it's good to have you on board in our golf monthly videos this is your first one uh, you might recognize Kit from various different uh, Sky Sports television programs Challenge Tour Euro Pro Tour maybe even the podcast as well so your first video did you enjoy it? I really enjoyed it a little bit chilly but we got to try out some cool gadgets and hopefully pass on some great information to people fantastic so that's all from us here from Burley Park Golf Club we'll see you next time